This lesson will be useful for integrators who work with Amex equipment and who prefer to create projects for controlling Amex equipment not in Iridium GUI editor, but in the application for creating user interfaces and this application is Amex TP Design 4. Project files created in this application are of the TP4 format and they can be used in Iridium without any change. That is when working with TP4 projects you don't need a Iridium GUI editor you can download your project on a control device using the Iridium Transfer application. And I'll show you how to launch your TP4 projects on devices of different types. So, Iridium Transfer is used for storing, launching projects and control devices. In order Iridium Transfer can launch your project on a device, you have to install the Iridium app application on this device. The application for iOS-based devices is i 2 control and you can download it from the App Store. The application for Android is i 2 control and you can download it from the Google Play. The application for Mac is called IM control and it can be downloaded from the website iridiumobile.net. And the application for Windows is Iridium app which can be installed as a separate setup or it can be installed together with a distributive on your PC. Iridium Transfer includes three tabs. The first tab, Panels, contains all control devices where you can download Iridium projects on. The second tab contains files of interfaces which can be downloaded on control devices and the third tab contains licenses or all your license files. While the first start of Iridium transfer, only one panel will be available and it's your own PC. You have to fill in the mock thread fields, that is to select a license for your PC and a project which will be launched on it. If you'd like to add other control devices to the list of Iridium panels, you should install and start your Iridium app on your control device. Then you have to activate the search panel function. When this function is activated, all devices where your Iridium app is running at the moment will be added to Iridium transfer list. And now you can see my iPhone in this list. The i2 control application is running on it. Two fields marked red in the line of the iPhone means that I have not selected a project in a license which must be launched on it. To add your Amex project to the list of transfer, you should use the drag and drop method, drag a project file and drop it in the window application. You will see a dialog window with settings of displaying the project on the control device. Here you can switch on or switch off the sound when pressing at any graphic item. You can select scale type. It indicates stretching of your project on the control panel. Scale type none means that if sizes of the project and the control panel don't coincide with each other, the project won't be stretched. Scale type proportional means that the project will be stretched according to the sizes of the control device with saving proportions. And scale type full size means that the project will be stretched according to the control panel sizes without saving proportions. The settings for Windows and iOS X tab indicates sizes of launching this application on these OS types. After activation necessary settings of the project, I am confirming its add-in to Iridium Transfer. A dialog window will open where you have to indicate settings of connection to the AMX controller. They are IP address of the controller, port of connection, it's 1319 by default, a login and a password if the session is protected and device ID, that is panel identifier. The setting is unique for every control panel and the AMX controller perceives Iridium control device as a native AMX panel. 
So if you use several panels, every panel must have its own identifier, which was described before when configuring the controller. How to set up different identifiers for different control panels in the Iridium transfer, you will learn a little bit later. Let's select identifier 10001 by default. I'm saving changes and now you can see my project in the list of projects in Iridium transfer. In the panels tab, I can see the project for the next launching on my iPhone. Then I have to add a license file to Iridium, which you have to receive beforehand on the iridiummobile.net website. The file license will be assigned to the corresponding device automatically. Now when I have selected a project and a license for the control device, let's pass over to launching the project on the control device. If you have iOS, and Android, Mac or OS X based devices, you have to check that the Iridium application is running on the control device. The panel will be marked green. Then you can press the reload button. Launching of the project on the control panel has started and after the project has been downloaded you will see it on the screen of your iPhone, iPad, Android or OS X based device. If you want to launch a project on your PC where Iridium Distributive is installed, you should go to the Start menu and find Iridium Client. You have to start it up and now you can see how downloading of a project Iridium Client has begun. You should do the same operation for any computer which, are, which is in the local net of your object. But Let's return to the case when several panels where Iridium is installed must appeal to one AMX controller. This case is described when the same project is launched on several panels, but device ID for connection to the controller must not be the same. In order not to launch your project on the Iridium panel several times and not to change project name, there is a function of individual setup connection for every Iridium panel in transfer. For calling individual setup of a panel, you should click twice on the panels tab in transfer and you will see properties of the panels and the device configure button. So if you press this button, you will open settings of connection to the AMX controller. Here you can change device ID of the AMX panel, save these changes and they will be used only for the panel for which you had done this setup. By pressing the reset device button you can delete those individual settings and you'll have the settings you indicated when launching your project in Iridium transfer. Making summary, you can create individual settings of connection for a great number of panels without changing settings of the original project. Thank you for your attention.